So this is my Pam Early Wine, or Punchy Paints, ACEO, I think that's right, Artist Card Wall of Fame. I love these little cards. I also love the little four by sixes. She's doing a Carbenza four by six for me. But yeah, I've got a little, I thought it was a squirrel, but I think it's not. Um, and the dog is amazing. Uh, I really love the teepee. I love my deer, my little birdie, my big birdie that would eat the little birdie, my wolf, my wolf. That's one of the cards she includes in when she sends us stuff. But I thought it was pretty, so I added it up here, along with my other bear. We've got my Betta and Bellis that she did for me. Love that fish. And Rocky Duck. And this is Thaddeus Tater. Thaddeus Tater is my humpback dragon puffer. And this was before he realized that blood worms were good. He eats them now with relish. These are my rummy noses. And that's my pleco. I love this one. It's absolutely one of my favorite. Because that's my pleco. He's a good boy. Anyway, he and his girl have spawned once. I'm just not really good with raising the babies. I do not feed them enough. I'm going to screw up enough to learn how to do it. Uh, here we go. I love predatory birds. I love crows. Um, I love vultures, too. I think they're just really, really, really cool birds. Um, right, right here, vulture. Seagulls reminds me of Maine. Um, on Acadia National Park. I have a photograph that I took that's almost exactly like that picture. There we go. Look at, I just love predatory birds with the... the and just, oh, they're amazing. And look at this duck. I got no idea what kind of duck that is, but it's a beautiful duck. The colors are amazing. How she does that on these tiny little cards, I have no idea. Here's another one of the bears, because I just love the bears. And last but not least, I think it's a chickadee. It is a chickadee. Anyway, these are just my cards. These are just the little cards. They hang on the wall in the living room, and yeah, I just stuck them with double-sided tape up there in their little card holders to keep them safe. They're from my living room. I have prints too, but the prints are spread over the house. And I just wanted to do one about my ACEO wall. So yeah, these are all my little cards. And this is the 120 gallon that they're on top of. I just rescaped it. It's got fake plants, can't do anything about that. Every live plant I've put in there, my Oscar plant eaters have killed. Even the hornwort that I floated, they destroyed it. Only thing they can't defeat is the duckweed, but actually the flow in the tank has defeated the duckweed, so what you gonna do? But in this tank now, I have found peace. I have my two Oscars that are currently living peacefully with a common pleco with my geophagus. Yeah, I did a water change. It's a mess. Wines Benai, wines something. Wines Millerai, wines Benai. I always do that wrong. And here's one of my danger noodles. Look at his face. He's so cute. He's a Senegal Bashir, biker. Don't know how you say him. There's two in here. There was three, but I was on vacation for a week and I didn't feed the, I didn't have my neighbor feed the fish because quite frankly, they always ever feed and then I come back to ammonia spikes and dead fish. So, however, sometime in there, I guess they decided they wanted to eat each other. So one of my Bashirs jumped. So I have two now. I felt horrible too, but uh, I mean, it happens. I have a little bit of gap in the back. Can't do anything about, well, I guess I could, but I don't know what to do. Right now it has cloth over it, but it's where the intake and outflow for the FX4 come in. Um, there's my common pleco. Uh, he or she, I think it's a she based on the belly shape when she's on the glass. Um, she's got one huge cave, a really huge cave, and then her favorite cave. 
And she's mad because of the rescape and she's not in any of them. She's just under the log. But this log was in the 20 gallon, my 20 gallon, not 20 gallon, Lord have mercy, it wouldn't fit in a 20 gallon. So it's in my 40 breeder, 40 breeder sprung a leak. So now it's staying cycled in this tank and I might leave it in here. But anyway, so I see this, I got off track cause I do that. We were talking about Pam's card. So let's go back to that. Um, they are over the 120, which is the tank I see all the time because if I back up, hoping I can back up and you can not see how messy my house is and sit on my sofa. There they are. There are the cards on top of the tank. And all of my geeky things are here. Not all of them, but X-Files, I want to believe. Traveling around London with friends. Baker Street from Sherlock. My Doctor Who stuff. Um, prints. There's an Adam Savage print. Uh, all kinds of geeky, buffy stuff. And it's right there on top. And I've got to fill this space out. Then I'm going to have to find more space because I promise you, I want more cards than I have space for. Oh, and on the side of my nasty stand, that little print with the palm tree is a rack one. But these are all cards that Pam has included when she sent me my CEO cards. So they're all hanging on the side of this decorating um, my cinder block rack, which is in my living room, don't ask. There's my 33 long with my Shelly's. And then over here, I started another row with the cards. Now that's Leo. That's Sherlock. Uh, so yeah. That's my view from the couch. Um, I can look at my cards and my fish. I love them. They're so amazing. I truly have no idea how she makes something that detailed on a tiny, tiny little card. Blows my mind. But anyway, she does. She's awesome. If you are following me and you've never found punchy paints, I'm in shock. But yeah, check her out. Um, Facebook, I think it's under Pam, er Pam Early Line or Pamela Early Line. She does take commissions, I know, because I've commissioned. Um, and she is at this moment painting an oil painting of my mother's cat, Eli, which I can't wait to see. Yep. Let me get a closer look one more time and then we'll stop. And this is a side for the 120. It's finally peaceful. I've tried multiple tank mates with my Oscars and they finally come somebody like. But yeah, we'll take another glance. I didn't measure and put a ruler up here, so it might not be perfectly straight. Don't look. Just look at the art. Ignore the fact that, you know, if you're OCD, this will drive you nuts. I love the wolf. I love the bird. Look at the eyes. Look at him. Oh, that's my dragon puffer. And he's funny. He looks like that too. All right, guys. The only thing I have to say is I need more. I need more. I still have some wall space over here and I can find more wall space. I promise. These are amazing. Check out Punchy Paints and it's just, I'll try to remember to put it in the description of the video. Uh, if I can figure out how to link one, I'll at least spell her name right. Um, but check her out. She does amazing art. These cards run about 30 bucks um, for commission. They're just baseball card size, but they're just amazing pieces of original art. The four by sixes, I believe, are running about 85. Um, 
So yeah, check her out. Get some of your own unique art. All right, folks. I will say adieu for the night. Take care, stay safe, wear a mask.